<laughs> Don't do that. Oh. I like this. Feels like uh, feels like spring outside. É a primeira vez já na na manhã não está super calor. Bom dia. It's uh, breakfast time, and in Brazil they call it o cafezinho da manhã. Tá. Siga você. Follow her because she leads to the good stuff. Um pouco. Então tem que aprender mais o, é, o brasileiro, não é? É verdade. Ah! Pode ser bem vontade, está bom? Obrigado. Yay! Brazilian breakfast buffet. Good morning, uh, people. Uh, how's it going out there? Hope you're doing all right and having a fine day. Or if it's the end of the day, good night. We're here in Salto, where I spent the night. And we're about 100 k's from Sao Paulo. Slept only about six hours. Wish I slept a little bit more, but no. My body's like, new time zone, wake up. So every good new day kicks off with a bit of brekkie. Coffee squad reporting in. Oh yeah. Give me some of the black gold. I think that's uh, pretty good, right? Hey, uh, Pedro, did you forget something, mate? Here you go. Uh, something that I really like, that's the second time that I find it here in Brazil. We have it in Portugal too, and it's fluffy cake. It's the best way that I can describe it. In Portugal, we call this pão de ló. The parking lot for the bike is uh, on another block here from the hotel. The guy said it was super safe, Sebastian, last night. The woman uh, who was at reception today is more like, well, uh, yeah, I hope everything is still there, you know? Usually we don't have any problems. Looks pretty closed off, right? But to those who really want to, there's always a way. Let's go see. Good morning, Alp. How you doing, girl? Looks like you still have everything on you. Ooh, bloody massacre on there, right? Eh? From all that night riding. What's up, Rui? Nah, help was all good in here. Very bad foreigner. What's happening today, as you know, I've been heading to the coast because I have family that I've never met near Sao Paulo in a place called Ubatuba. Funny name, isn't it? Probably a very popular beach. It's almost like in the middle between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. So I'm gonna head out there, that's the mission for today, and we're gonna pass through the north of Sao Paulo. I don't know if I should be doing that, but I at least want to see the, the, the city on my way there. But it's probably going to be a lot of traffic. Also, I'm going to go back to Itu, where I was last night, and I'm going to see if I can find a money exchange. And I still have uh, Bolivianos, so a salty sweat. Nice, nice. So I still want to exchange those. And if I can't in E2, then I have to find a bank in Sao Paulo. But I hope to do it here because I really don't want to stop somewhere with this whole setup in that big, crazy city. Let's go. Ciao, senhoras. Ciao. Muito obrigado. Bom dia. Uh, gasolina comum? Enxelo? Cheio, cheio. 
Por favor, tem suficiente espaço. Pega. Para aqui é mais fácil para você, não? Beleza. Mira. Você é que país? Holanda. Holanda? Holanda. Português ou holandês? Oh, não pode enchê-lo mais. Pode continuar. Vai ver que ainda vai entrar quase um litro. This is always funny. Uh, they want to stop at some point, and I don't always tell them to keep going because uh, close to a liter still goes in there. You got to slowly top it off. Funny thing, in Russia, half the time they would refuse to go on. It was really weird. And then you don't speak the language. So I had so many awkward petrol station situations in Russia because of that. You see that? That's over a liter that still went in there. Ora tá bom. Obrigado. Oh, obrigado. E bom dia a você. Thank you. People have been pretty dope in Brazil so far. Really awesome. E tu, e tu. See this? I like very much. Designated motorcycle space up front. You see they all have those antennas? Like a lot do in Chile? I wonder if they're kite line busters. Like uh, that's what they're for in Chile. So you don't get a kite line wrapped around your neck when you're doing a hundred. Because they have like a uh, kite tradition. After aimlessly riding around for 15 minutes, I uh, had a whack here at the bank, Bradesco, and I start talking to a man who mentions, I don't think you should park there because you'll get a fine. But always eyes on your stuff, you know? Um, but uh, he's asked, well, what are you looking for? Yeah, I want to exchange money. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so here, man. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll be right out and uh, you can follow me. Sweet. Tá bem. Então eu sigo a, sigo a você. É lá, força. Rapaz! Só sai rapidito assim do mar. Pá, 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 Humpty Dump, he's on the pretty 800 GS, is my favorite Beamer. I find the 1200, a bit big, bulky. And uh, this one still has the chain, and the chain just looks really good on the bike. Just completes the look. It's overall a good looking bike. É boa moto, não? Tá vindo Holanda com ela? Sim. Como mais, mais que 100 mil quilômetros. Um amigo que desenhou minha casa. Sim. Chama-se Pedro Mota. Também. Lá de Alagoas, Maceió. Aham. Uh -huh. Oi, polícia. Ho, oh, oh. Seja bem-vindo! Welcome! Então entro aí, olha, você muito obrigado. Vê lá em duas, três semanas, vai estar num videozinho. Abraço! Tchau, é que bom! Awesome, hein? Eh? Good here! Bom dia! Renova, é o câmbio. Tá bem. Obrigado, bom dia! No Bolivians had a worry that it might be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Estevão is still there. Tá bem. Então entra aqui. Obrigado. Good man. Seja bem-vindo ao Plaza. Obrigado. O ticket. Olá, boa tarde. Tudo bem? Um, troca bolivianos? Por favor, deixe-me sair, porque toda a gente está a dizer não. Ok, that's rough. That one also doesn't trade Bolivians. That means I gotta go to uh, a place in São Paulo 
I got over 100 euros in Bolivians that I got in case uh, Brazil would have brutal ATM fees like in Argentina, which it doesn't. Liga! A serio? You're not allowed to ride with the motorcycle here. That blows my mind. Let's go to Sao Paulo for real now. Not that I can't remember any real weird rules, but that has to be a top three strange one. Not allowed to ride the motorcycle on the parking lot full of cars. An injustice, I tell you. All right, let's do this right this time. You gotta love this. After all that toll, and then you get close to Sao Paulo, and then you don't have to pay toll. Oh, I like it. So does Al. Let's go. This happens all the time, man. Getting cut off. But I was asking for it coming into the city. I knew it wasn't going to be a smooth, easy ride. I have no idea what to do now. Um, I can't really put my phone. Uh, it overheats within uh, five, uh, ten minutes. It can't show me anything. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. I knew what I was getting myself into. Hello, to the way. Say, Sao Paulo. I can't hear him. Okay, I have no clue where I'm going. I need to go to the center, and there uh, they might have uh, exchanges. Okay, this is messed up. I've been in my fair share of mega cities. Istanbul, Tehran, Tokyo. It's all badness. Hollanda! Hollanda! To the end of the way, huh? Oh, it's out. He's also a rider. <laughs> no! Ah, see! It's my po centro! See, po centro! See? No, tranquilo, tranquilo! Tá bem, tá bem, tá bem, obrigado. <laughs> Fucking love it. So I can uh, hop on his Instagram. Oh, apparently motorcycles not allowed here. What is it with this discrimination of two wheels? Você é da Holanda? Sim. Há quantos dias já? Ah, uh, anos. Eu e ele vai para os Estados Unidos o ano que vem. Ah. É para lá. É para lá. O centro é para a direita, então. Tá, tá bem. Ó, oh, cuidado lá, viu? Sim. Foi a moto em estacionamento, tá? Tá, tá bem. Estacionamento, tá? Tá, tá bem. Boa sorte. E a história do estado. Ah, sim, sim, obrigado. <laughs> It's funny. People are loving it. I am so hot. That's the downside of bark busters sometimes. Overall, they're bloody great. Don't do that. 
Oh, when I see locals ride, I get that when in Rome feeling. Mate, if I had panniers, I would be so screwed. I used to have panniers and I wouldn't be able to do this most of the time. I would have to behave like a car. Help, you're hot. I have no clue where I'm going right now. Oh, wait. Time to catch a breather. All right, let's see where we are. And I'll store the cap. Flavio Motos. <laughs> Hilarious, I love it. <laughs> Doors opening to, oh yeah, Tehran. Tehran was nuts like that too. Anything could happen. On an 80 uh, an hour highway overpass in the city, a car could stop all of a sudden. Right on the shoulder, you know, to let someone off who's gonna walk down the exit ramp. <laughs> By the way, my honkler uh, doesn't work half the time, so that's not very handy. Oh no, here we go again. Where are we going? For shits and giggles, mate. Let's do it for the memes. Can you look into the corner? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it was fun. I feel a bit funky. I went to the exchange. They can't exchange Bolivianos and the guy is like, dude, you'll be hard pressed to uh, exchange your Bolivianos in Brazil. So not the banks, not them. I have over hundred euros that I can't use while in Brazil now, but we'll, uh, we'll manage. What was that all about, eh? Sao Paulo getting into the city. What a madhouse. And you could see the, the, the smaller motorcycles, you know, nimble, like little, uh, little field mice in, in, in traffic. Well, just in case I split this episode in two because it's been quite a long day. Uh, thanks for watching that madness, folks. Uh, don't do some of the things that, that happened. And uh, people have been wonderful today, uh, really helpful. And it's really cool and just how welcoming they were like in traffic and actually in the insane traffic helping me out you know slowing down letting letting me through when I had to do some really weird maneuvers people are pretty dope in traffic usually you don't expect that sort of thing traffic is uh, how do you say that live or die there's something better for that do or die Anyway, take it easy, folks. Sub if you haven't already. Hit that bell button. Otherwise, YouTube is like, Pedro, oh, he never makes videos, mate. Don't worry about it. And um, I'll see y'all soon enough, yo. Ciao. Hey, peoples. If you like the videos, please consider supporting the channel, since it takes considerable time to make these. With your help, I can sit down and consistently make new episodes. Check out the link in the description. Thanks.